What's up there, YouTube? Kenny here, also known as Final Fantasy V. Welcome back to another series mode. This series mode, um, I'm going to go ahead and say a couple things about it. Number one, it'll probably be hit and miss with some people, uh, because what I'm about to go kind of talk about is, um, or go into, that's what I was about to say, um, is probably not really a big deal to some people. Um, some people probably won't know what I'm talking about, uh, and some people, it really doesn't apply to them. Um, the second thing is, is that what I'm going to get into is role reversal in marriage. That seems to be happening, at least in my generation and the last generation. I think that's where it really started showing up. Um, and I, I'm not sure uh, if this will apply to um, same-sex couples or um, marriages or whatnot. Because, you know, I'm honestly, I'm not entirely sure about the fundamentals. I mean, obviously, those are people in love as well. But my only experience is, is with straight marriages and straight couples. Um, specifically, again, uh, with people from the generation before mine of the last, uh, you know, the 90s pretty much, uh, that are maybe in their 40s by now, uh, and then people that are in their 30s. So, or the generation before mine. I don't know. Anyway, you'll, you'll hopefully see what, I get, what I'm talking about as I get into. But anyway, um, with that said, do not mistake what I just said for me saying that I'm against uh, same-sex marriage, because I'm not. I actually think if anybody can find love in any place, you should hold on to it, no matter how strange or, you know, anti-religious they think it may be. So, it's your love, it's your life, it's your choice. Yeah, I think I just came up with the, with the slogan. Anyway, so... Um, some stuff uh, as for everybody that knows me they they know I've been going through a hard time in life i've been I've been battling some darkness in my life, a lot of darkness in my life uh and one small part of that darkness again a small part, not the biggest part, but a small part uh has been for me as a guy um sort of the re reverse in roles that is traditionally a part of a marriage. This is the the kind of marriage that we're brought up to think that we'll have that we should have that should be happening, so on and so forth. I know for, for women it's one way, but the only way I can really speak is for guys, at least from my uh, perspective. And again, you know, some guys, they may not even see what I'm talking about, you know, because they they probably have that traditional marriage, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. But um, <clears throat> what you may notice, some people may notice statistically, is that my generation, you're seeing a, a reversal in roles in some ways. Because uh, it is the wives that really are going into a job and making more money, becoming the breadwinners. And then, of course, you have the guys who are becoming more house husbands than anything. Or, you know, they're, they're working the, the other job that's kind of secondary, maybe not making as much money uh, as the wife, so on and so forth. Um, and so, you know, they're, they're, they're home, they're cleaning, they're doing laundry, all that stuff. Which I personally enjoy doing, but at the same time, um, when you're raised to believe that you should be the alpha male... That society is telling you, TV shows tell you, at least back, again, early 90s, early 2000s, 80s. Um, there, you know, it's, it's telling you, you should be the breadwinner. You should be the one that is the take charge um, kind of, you know, situation. Um, which is fine. Obviously, yeah, I mean, you're, you know, you're the guy. You, you need to protect the girl, which is just nature, you know. I don't think we're ever going to lose that. But at the same time, when you have society kind of telling you that, but you're seeing the opposite in your generation, you're seeing the opposite going on, it kind of creates a mental conflict inside. Again, as a guy, I'm not, I'm not sure how it is for girls. I can only, I can only guess that girls may find it a little annoying, uh, maybe at times. But again, as a guy, it's, it's kind of conflicting because... Again, you're told to be this this alpha male, this take charge, take care of your woman, make the money, make sure she's happy, has all the trappings of life, so on and so forth. Um, when again, in your generation, it's it's the opposite. Uh, you have your wife again becoming the breadwinner, making the most money, kind of becoming in some ways, for lack of a better term than I can think of, a sugar mama. She's the one providing the money, you know, making the big the big bucks and. Um, you know, I got a couple of buddies that are at home taking care of kids. I don't have kids, but I know for sure that, you know, I do I do the cleaning around the house. I do the laundry and stuff like that. Not to say that, that Amber doesn't help. She does. But um, she tends to work longer hours than I do. So, it's you know, it's, it kind of falls on me to kind of just make sure some things are straightened up. 
um, just to keep a clean house and all that. Because, you know, that's, that's how I was raised. I, I think that's, and I believe that's how everybody should be raised, to keep a clean house, keep everything organized. Um, and, you know, just looking nice in case you have a company that comes over and so on and so forth. Um, and, again, I say that as, as a guy that was raised by two women. I was raised by my mom and my sister. Uh, my dad was around. Of course, I'm a child of divorce at age five. Uh, my dad was around whenever he could be. Um, but for the majority, uh, you know, I was raised by two women. So that might be a factor in this as well. But aside from that, since I just kind of went into my little life bio there, um, the, the role reversal, again, can, can conflict in a guy's mind. Because, again, you're not where you're told as a kid where you should be. And it kind of, at least for me, it kind of created a struggle because it, it made you, it kind of gives uh, into a feeling of what use am I. But what you got to do is you got to step back and you got to take a look at it because you're just in a different kind of role overall. Um, now, don't let that role define you. I mean, still, you know, be a guy, be a, be a man, but, um, don't, you know, don't let that role say that you're weak, that you're useless, that, you know, you're not who you should be. Because the truth is, if you let society set the standards for your life, or if you let your childhood set the standards for your life, or so on and so forth, or people that raised you set the standards for your life, if you think of them as defining standards and you cannot meet those standards, it's going to impact you mentally. It's going to impact you emotionally. It's going to impact you psychologically. And it is going to mess with you big time. Um, so what I would say is just to take a look at your life, see where you're at. As long as you're happy, as long as things are working, that's all that matters. Um, and again, I, I mainly wanted to make this for the for the guys because me because I'm a sensitive male. I really am. I you know I'm a sensitive guy. Um, again, contributing factors to that uh, was the way I was brought up. But again, when when society and when those social standards come into play, and you're talking to you you know you're hanging out with a group of buddies, and you got these you know you got these guys that are making serious money. Um, and, you know, maybe they're older than you, maybe they're younger than you, so on and so forth. Uh, and, you, you know, you start talking to them, it's just like, so, you know, what do you, what do you do for a living, all this and that. Well, you know, I do this, do that. I'm at home most of the time. Oh, all right. Because the, the truth is, you're going to get some judgmental pricks. Because guys can be assholes, big time. Um, but at the same time, you know, you got to remember, that's just the man, that's just the man way, I guess. Um... I've never really been that type. I've never really been... I can be an asshole, but I've never been the total asshole, you know. So, but anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, again, it might be hit and miss with some people. And uh, I would like to know how it is for same-sex marriage. I, I, I've always been interested in those fundamentals. And uh, I, I would say, it, you know, it would, it would probably be the same on some levels. But then again, that's a, you know, that's a, that's a whole other thing. Because that is something I think... Uh, still new to the world and still scary to a lot of people because it's changing traditions um, in the same way kind of that role reversal is and that's why it's that scary for some people um, but anyway thanks for watching be sure to like subscribe comment for now I'll say salute and remember you're awesome and never let any assholes tell you otherwise see ya